how are you today? I hope you're having an amazing day. I just want to let you know in advance, I'm having a lot of technical difficulties today. I'm not sure how long the show is going to be for. Um, so I, I just want to apologize for that. Um, there are some technical difficulties with blog talk um, and getting callers, and we'll see. We'll just see what happens here. So first and foremost, for anybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching, whether you're watching on WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, any of the channels I, I stream on, or any podcast stations or radio stations that I'm on, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for all of you and that you are um, watching and and listening to the show. And yeah, I have a bit of an allergy thing going on. So I again, I apologize for that too. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by one problem after another. <laughs> okay, so first, there are some songs that have been coming to me all morning. And these songs are from loved ones on the other side. Um, and they are letting me know that you'll know who they are simply by the song that I say. So the first song that I'm hearing is that song. I don't know the words and you guys know I cannot sing and I apologize that song. So fresh and so clean, so fresh and so clean. Na, 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 something so fresh and so clean. So somebody on the other side, either this was your song or their song, Whenever you think of this song, you think of this person. Um, <clears throat> the next two are artists. And the first artist is Barry White. Um, so if you know someone on the other side that was a big Barry White fan, they're coming through now and letting you know, you know, hey, they're still with you. The next artist is Aretha Franklin. And again, you'll know just by who these people are that they are uh, coming through for you or by who their artist or song is. And then the next song that they were giving me, and it was like a barrage, a, the weirdest mashup of one song or artist after another this morning. And the next song is Always and Forever. So that song, always and forever. <laughs> I know, I know, that's the next song. So that might have been your song with somebody who's on the other side, or it might have been a song that every time you heard that song, you thought of them, that person is also <clears throat> connecting with you. And then I'm going to go through the, the music end of it first and then the names of people and then the messages that they have for you and since blog talk is is being a little since my call log is is having technical issues issues if there's someone you want to connect with you can put it in the chat on youtube um tammy wynette is the next artist so if you or somebody who knew somebody who loved Tammy Wynette, that's going to be your cue to know they're with you still. And then uh, the song, um, <clears throat> Bodies, and the, the main verse is, let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor, let the bodies hit the floor. And I can't do that because especially today, my voice is far too... Uh, like raspy. Well, today would be the perfect day because my voice is so raspy and excuse me, please, while I do this, but I think that's a little better than just letting it run all over today. Uh, yeah, drowning pool, let the bodies hit the floor. So that's a song that's coming through. So if you, if you associate that song with somebody on the other side, they're coming through and saying hello. Now the names I have, the first name I have is Bryce. Whomever Bryce is, either somebody on the other side is talking to a Bryce or Bryce is on the other side saying hello here. And Bryce seems like a name that would be for a much younger person um, because I'm really not even familiar with that name. But Bryce wants you to know that 
Well, for Bryce, whether this is for Bryce or this is Bryce from the other side, um, I love you is the message. That is just the message. Um, so whatever that is, okay? And again, if you want to connect with somebody, if you have somebody you'd like to get a message from or you have a question, please put it in the chat. I'll be happy to answer that. Um, I want to say, hey, Jennifer, how are you? Thank you for telling me who sings that song. Fawn, Heather, <clears throat> Mo D, Mo D Live. Hey, how are you, Mo? I'm just going to call you Mo if that's okay. Um, and Frankie, thank you guys for being on the chat with me. And then the next person that is coming through, I just keep hearing the name Janice, Janice, Janice. So either you're a Janice or you know a Janice on the other side. And if you know a Janice on the other side or you are the Janice, again, the message is, um, seriously? I did not get what Janice or this message for Janice, whoever this is for, the message is cock a doodle do. <laughs> I can't even make it up. I can't even make it up. Sometimes I think spirit is punking me, but then I realize, no, that means something, whether it's a joke or like there was a rooster or so, I don't even know, but cock a doodle do is the message from um from or for Janice okay and then the the next name that I'm getting is Luke so for Luke what I need to say for Luke is uh whether Luke is on the other side or here again I'm not sure if this message is going to somebody named Luke or if this message is from somebody named Luke the message is actually um Stay strong. Uh, stay strong. Do it for both of us. And don't let this, like, don't let this complicate things or change things. Don't let this complicate things or change things. Yeah, that's the message I'm getting. Hey, Sal, how are you? So what I would say, if you are Luke or you know Luke, that's the message that they're giving. Um, <clears throat> the uh, That's the message that they're giving for you. Okay, and then, hey, Frankie. <laughs> uh how about from Bill? Okay, Frankie, do you mind telling me who Bill was to you? So instantly I see my friend Jerry come in and Jerry was this really amazing man in my life. He um, he like changed my life in so many ways. So I'm getting that Bill might have been a little bit like Jerry, but I'm waiting for Bill to step in. Um, Bill was your dad. Okay. Um Thank you for letting me know that. And uh, and I'm going to, and remember folks, um, if these names are not specific to you, that's okay. Remember this show airs to a lot of TV and whatever stations. If there is someone you wanna connect with, please let me know, I'll be happy to uh, help you. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, connect with Bill and then I'll connect with Matt. So Heather, hold on. Okay, Frankie, the one thing Bill wants to say to you is I'm, I'm hearing it kind of like in a song. Oh, um, I'm hearing that song. Uh, hey, did you happen to see the most beautiful? Okay. Uh, the, the line that is being shared is tell him, tell him, tell him I'm sorry. Okay, so that's the line. Um, the first thing your dad wants to say is I'm sorry. Now, sorry can be because of this something throughout life or just at end of life or the pain and suffering their passing has caused. It may make sense. It may not make sense. 
Um, and if you do want me to connect with somebody, please, I need their first name along with their connection to you. And thank you, for uh, Frankie, for confirming that you know why. And the next thing that uh, Bill wants to, oh, I'm getting the goosies, Frankie. The next thing that Bill wants to say to you, Frankie, is that they, um, he, uh, he loves loves you and loved you always um and then the song you don't know what you got until it's gone and then saying like sometimes you just don't know how to do what you're supposed to do or how to do what you want to do whatever that means for you Frankie and I want to say um the, the next statement I'm getting for you, Frankie, is I should have been there. I should have been there. I should have been there. Um, there's this remorse of of maybe just I should have been there is a statement that's coming through. So, Frankie, I really, really, really hope um, that makes sense to you. Now I'm going to go to Heather. Heather wants to connect with Matt. Her brother, and finally, some calls are coming through on uh, the call log. And I'm sorry, um, I will be getting to you guys, so please don't go anyplace. Um, Matt, your brother, um, the first thing I hear is a song. It's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. I don't even know that those... Do, 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 that song, whatever that song is, and letting you know that you are loved and make the right choice. Either you're making the right choice or make the right choice and moving forward. Keep going forward. Keep moving forward. Don't stop. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling. <laughs> Your brother is a clown. He is a whole clown. He was in the middle of this whole, um, like, really cool statement. Really cool. Like, it was so heartfelt. I could feel it coming through. And then he breaks into that song. And I'm like, are you kidding me, Matt? He goes, no. No, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Heather. Um, he wants to say, don't stop, not even to think about if you should look back. The only direction is forward. You're making all the right choices. Um, and you just need to, um, there's a song, it, it, it says run in it. And he's just saying, uh, uh, and he's saying, ride, ride like the wind, just go forward. If things were meant to be, they would be. You just keep going and don't worry about, about what's behind you. Just ride like the wind and and keep going and you everything will turn out the best. Um, what's in your rear view mirror? It should keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And don't even look in your rear view mirror because you might hit what's coming in. So just keep your eyes, you know, like um, pinpoint what you want and and keep going to it. And that's that Heather, that is his and Jennifer, you're next. Um, so please hold on. Um, and that is his his message to you and letting you know that you are going in the right direction. You've not made any mistakes in your choices. Just keep going. And yeah, that's what he wants to say to you. And then Jennifer Marie, Marie, my grandmother. Okay, let me. Um, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I, I need to tell you, Heather, I kept hearing the name Lily, but I thought it was about something in my personal life. Um, and I didn't say it. So I wish I would have said it. See, folks, see, you see. Okay, so yeah, he was probably acknowledging Lily before we 
um, even before you even asked. Um, okay. And he, yes, he acknowledges that Heather and thank you so much. Um, thank you for letting me know that. Um, yes. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna, uh, Heather, I will come back to you. I want to go, um, I want to go to um, Jennifer now with her grandmother, Marie. Your grandmother is being very patient and just like standing right here being like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so the first thing that your uh, grandmother wants to say, um, Jennifer, is um, I know that maybe she didn't listen to this music, but the song that's coming through as a message for you is take it to the limit one more time. And I please, I take it to the limit one more time. We all know that song. I don't need to sing it seriously. Um, uh, and, and they are all laughing. <laughs> um, and that means just keep pushing it. Don't hold back, like just go as far as you can and then push that limit. Um, because that is, she is saying that is where your bliss is going to be found. Now, hear me out, hear the whole message. Don't hear just the beginning and start thinking or shut me out or have a judgment. Because I think I know Jennifer, what your grandmother is referring to because of something else I'm seeing with this message. And this message, when she says, take it to the limit one more time, because that is where the bliss is found. I see all these colors and, and um, waves coming through. I've never, ever done psychedelics. I have no judgment for anybody who does anything. Um, but you can get this in meditation, but it's the same type of thing you would get if you had done that. And I'm not saying do psychedelics, don't do, do them based on this message, because I don't, I personally don't agree with that. I think we can reach any state of ecstasy with our mind. I do. Our, that's what our mind was created for. Our mind was created to thin the veil. Our mind was created to be in contact with every realm naturally and on its own. And what I think she's saying is allow your mind to push the limit. I think that's my guess. Now, you may know differently what she means by take it to the limit one more time. Um, ah, oh, see, yes, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Jennifer. She, Jennifer just left a message saying, um, take it to the limit one more time. I have reached bliss with breath work. Right there, right there, folks, yes. God, I love what I do. God, I love, God, I love it. Okay, just saying. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay, she is saying, take it to the limit one more time and then full speed ahead. Oh my gosh, see, when I just say what they tell me, whether I know what it means or I think it makes sense or not, I need to do that. I just need to do that. The next time you take it to the limit, you're going to get more than you bargained for, but don't let that stop you. <laughs> hey, Patrick, how are you? You're never late to the party. You're uh, fashionably on time, Patrick. Okay, so if there's anybody anybody else on here wants me to connect with, please let me know. Um, Mo, I'm going to connect with your grandpa. Both of your grandpas are right here. Um, but I do feel like I, I do want to take a caller before I connect with your grandpas. So I'm going to go to 850. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yay, I'm calling from Florida, and this is Michelle. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? What, what, what 
you need, what you want? Well, I'm dying to find a camper in my price range. I live off a of disability, so it's got to be like 4000 or under. And I want the camper to be small, under 15 foot, so it'll be cheaper to travel with. And I want to take my husband for his birthday next year. He's always wanted to go out west. So I want to surprise them and buy a small camper trailer because that'll be the cheapest way because I won't be able to afford a hotel, you know, going out west. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I don't know where to look. I've been looking everywhere on Marketplace, Craigslist, and I don't know what state to look, you know, to kind of narrow it down. And in my price range, and the problem is, is I got to find one that's got a title to it because in the state of Florida, you have to have a title. Mm-hmm. Uh, you okay. can't just get it with a bill of sale. So that's kind of the problem I'm running into. So I'm like, maybe you can give me some clues and ideas where to look and um, okay. <clears throat> help me out with some type of spiritual messages. Yeah. One of the things I hear first is Midwest. Now I know the Midwest is kind of big. Um, I feel like if you're looking in the Midwest, you might find something that is going to prove very um, functional for you. And the, <clears throat> Other place that I'm hearing is Arizona. If you look in Arizona, you might find something that proves very functional for you also. Um, I I wish I could narrow it down a little bit more than that for you, but that is actually what I'm hearing is either you're, you're either going to find it in the Midwest. And I know, again, if I were narrowing it down a little bit more, Minnesota. Michigan. Maybe it's, I live all the way in Florida, so that'd be a long way to travel to. Well, if you're asking, if it, listen, know. listen, listen, sweetie, <laughs> listen, sweetie. I get that. Now, if you want me to, if you're leaving it wide open and you're saying I don't know where to look, I'm gonna give you where you're going to find your best possible deal. Now, if you're going to say to me, listen, I live in Florida, I live in Kissimmee, Florida. Am I going to find something in Kissimmee, Florida? That's a completely different question. I do feel like there will be two very functional um, campers or RVs or whatever it is that you're looking for in the one in the Midwest and one in Arizona. Now, if you want something in Florida, I would be very, very careful as to what you're picking up in Florida and the area you're picking it up in um, due to some of the um, weather that they've had there and and you don't want to get something that will eventually have mold. I do, however, feel that within six months, within six months, you will find a gem, a beautiful, beautiful gem of a camper, as you call it, exactly what you're looking for in with within six months in proximity. The word they're using is proximity, and it will be um, exa- it will be within all of your guidelines. Just hold tight to what you want, and I feel like it's going to come in, and it's going to be in proximity to you. So please make sure that you are keeping your eyes open. I feel like it's in, I don't know if this, it, either it's in, if you're near the, the the border of your state, it's it's right, it's within proximity, maybe right across the border, either a city or a state border. So please pay attention to that. But it's within, it's within 100 miles of where you are, but you're going to find it within six months. It's not anything that's going to come today or tomorrow. And I also believe it's from a couple who is older and maybe they're just not able to use it anymore because of their age. Okay, love? Okay, thank you so much. You are so welcome. And remember, if you are willing to make the journey, I believe there's one in Michigan that will be perfect and one in Arizona. But I do know I really do know that that is quite a journey and quite a bit of traveling. And I also know that that will be very, um, you know, you'll you'll really have to plan that out for yourself. Okay, you'll have to decide if what you save or, or yeah, what you save in money on the camper is worth the trip there and back. Okay, sweetie? 
I want to thank you so much for calling in. And I want to let you know that um, that, that is coming in. And I, I wish you luck in finding it. Okay, now I'm going to go to Mo, your grandfather's. Mo wants to connect with Carl and or Joe, and they're both here. And, you know, I'm going to tell you together they are troublemakers. I'm just going to say it. They are really feisty. Um, at least one of them was very, very feisty and quite the prankster or jokester, or at least he thought so, right up until his pretty much his passing for as long as he could be. And, you know, the biggest thing we want is a message for ourselves. So the first thing I'm going to ask, um, your grandfathers to give you a message. And the first message that they are giving you is to be strong. Okay, be strong. Um, there's going to be a little bit of adversity coming in. I don't like messages like this because I, I believe we create our future. But in the face of adversity, if there is something coming in, it's better to know so we can strengthen ourselves up and we can get into that place where we are using our will to minimize it and move forward. I think this has something to do with another person. And sometimes this is somebody who is just trying to rain on our happy parade. And sometimes it's something else. What I'm going to tell you, Mo, is what's coming in for you is only going to last a minute. Like it's going to last a very short period of time. Uh, as long as you are strong through it, you'll get through it very, very quickly. They want you to know that you are going to, once you come out the other side of this, whatever it is, um, you are going to be in a much better position than you were prior to it. I will be back Monday at noon. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be answering more questions and connecting with more loved ones at that time. Thank you.